This is Anyone FM. Hi everyone, so just before we begin today's preview, join the lads on Anyone FM Live from 7pm this Monday. They're going to be building up to the game of Arsenal with the lineups. Also, we've got in the studios the Maka Mover. He's going to be fighting Sunderland's corner. He's going to be talking about their season. Does he miss the derby? And also the Checker Trade Trophy final. Also on the agenda is Ayose Perez's future. The Spaniard is obviously speaking out recently. He wants out, allegedly that is. And also the fans forum is discussed. That's Monday, 7 p.m. Anyone FM that want your calls and your texts. To get in touch with the studio, call us on 0191 432 7234 or text the word anyone, followed by your message, and send it to 60777. This is Anyone FM. <laughs> Hi everybody, so it's the last preview, obviously I'm down London, unfortunately I'll be driving down as this time this video goes out, uh, meeting Johnny and Fordy down London town, but uh, we're going to wrap up the final preview, I've got Mark with us, we're still here with the official Premier League trophy uh, tour, which you can see behind us, uh, which is powered by uh, Coca-Cola. So let's turn to the note, that's a real trophy. <laughs> Something we're not going to see though, right? But we've got a better chance than them. That's true, uh, so that's a nice way to put it. Right, let's begin with Arsenal, because... Their home form is formidable. Can you see anything from us from getting any points down there? I think there's always a chance of us getting a point. Yeah, Arsenal aren't the team that they were. They do have danger men. When you look at the, the likes of Aubameyang, Lacazette, Ozil, yeah, Torreira is even doing quite. So they have, Terrera. Thank God for that. <laughs> so he's the one that's been totally pulling the strings in the midfield. They've got him. Zach, yeah, he scored against us. So they've got. Threatening players, but I just I always think with Rafa, we've got a chance. So is it more of a case of us stopping them? Is that how you see that when Newcastle gets them? Because look, we know that the likes of Rondon, Perez and Almiron are great. I don't think they'll see much of the ball. I think it's going to be a lot of Arsenal, probably 70% possession minimum, and it's can Arsenal break us down? Is that the is that the question? Yeah, well if we look at was it last year where they, they just snuck up Wonder Wonder goal one? Yeah. So we keep it tight, Rafa's always going to keep it tight. I would say the first half of the season I probably would be more confident because the away form was cracking and the home form dipped. Now the away form's dipped and the home form's cracking. I would still I would still give us a chance with any, with anything. Yeah, we're, we're good with the midfield. We're, we're strong when we can attack. When you've got Almiron and Perez playing how they have been playing, you've got Rondon up there. Yeah, they're going to be a threat for anyone. Where do you see us? Can we create or we're, how we're going to set up? We all think it's going to be the wing backs, don't we? Look, we've done the previews already the last couple of days. We all think it's going to be the wing backs, but is it more of a case let's try and get up round and hold the ball up and have Perez and Almiron around them? Is that the only threat or set pieces? Where can we score? But uh, set pieces we used to be good at, but I don't think we've really. Took we're not very good at defending yeah, but, them. But we haven't really took advantage of them. I think we're going to probably try and get on the counter. Because it's going to soak the pressure up again. Yeah, but you, you look at Almiron, Almiron can break the, like anything. So you just pop a ball over him, he can run with it. So you, you've got Almiron who can do that. Yeah, Perez is starting to, to find a bit of form. Rondon is Rondon. Yeah, give him a chance. Most likely he will score. So I think counter, I th we're probably going to be counter attacking most of the time, especially if we can get Yedlin and Richie on the wings. Two players who, who can have a bit of pace and can get the ball in the box. If let's just, I want to put a hypothetical, hypothetical, I got hypothetical. It. Yeah, he said it for us. Question out there, or in hindsight, later on, by the time people might watch this, is we're one nil down with 70, 70 minutes ago. What do you want to see changed? Do you want to keep the position with the wing backs? What would you like? Forget about Rafa once. What would you like to see? Let's say Diome starts take him off with Chelsea on because then we've just got a, a little bit more of a, a playmaker. You won't bring Hostler on and play, play Rondon, will you? No, to be, Mutu. I'm not being well. Mutu, I, I'd give a chance. Oslo, I'd rather play with ten men than bring Oslo on because, to be quite frankly, we're probably all going to be playing with ten men with Oslo on. Get Shola. Shola's in the corner. I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> let let all. We did try and get him for the charity game, but he he, he was otherwise engaged uh, in the sunnier climbs of somewhere Oslo, different in Newcastle. So, do you see this game being important? Look, every game's important. No, I'll rephrase that because <laughs> I don't think it's more important than the next three after that because we're playing against teams around us. Obviously, we'll see how the results go over the weekend, of course. But we've got bigger fish to fry later on, haven't we? We're nearly safe, aren't we? Well, I think this one's a bonus game. 
uh, as would call it. Yeah. It's a game where we're not expecting anything. If we do get something from it, great. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's not important. We're we're close, and I, I actually think we're probably all safe to an ex, uh, to an extent. Right, the goal difference. Yeah, I think goal difference is going to do it. Fulham's down. The likelihood is Huddersfield's down. And can you see Cardiff surviving? I, I, I don't know. I just don't see it. I mean, I don't like Neil Warnock, but you know that's a different matter. I, I, th- I have to agree. I think Newcastle almost. If I think you know the likes of Brighton, Southampton, but how else we got Palace as well coming up. So well, we can get two, f- the next two home games are Palace and Southampton. Four points, and that's it. I think. Yeah. Ha- just touch upon Arsenal because we might have a couple of Gunas watching. Are they going to finish top four? No. Nah. Why? Oh, is it the wheel? <laughs> just, well, to just, wind, the just, to, just to wind them up, I just think we're social and I think Man U are probably a, a little bit, probably more, they've got something to play for now, they've got that desire, that they're, they're playing for the manager. I think with Arsenal, they can be indifferent in their form, yeah. so they can go and do really well against a Liverpool or a, a Spurs, but Newcastle or someone like that is a team that they'll probably fall up against. Cool. Well, let us know what you think. Score prediction. Are we going to get anything? Because I can't say. I'm going to go 2-1 Arsenal, unfortunately. I never predict. Because <laughs> like Kyle, isn't he? Right, let us know what you think. Tell her. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.